Hi everyone, my name is Oshina. I am glad that you're here. Um, today's video is going to be talking about the book of John. Uh, if you didn't know, I am reading the book of John this month and I invited all of my subscribers and anyone who watched the video to join me in reading the book of John in the Bible. Today is September 1st, so it's the first day of us reading John together. Yeah, I'm just really excited to share this. I was so encouraged on my September TBR video, how many people said that they wanted to join um, reading the book of John, and I just think that it's gonna be really good. I'm really looking forward to doing this with all of you. I'm just going to go for it. I didn't really make a plan for this video other than I knew I wanted to talk about John. So um, I haven't read it yet, but this is my Bible. Um, this is the Bible I plan to use. I've had this Bible for a long time. I got it for my 14th birthday and I'm 28 now, so it's been a long time. And it this Bible has been through a lot with me and I just, I really love it. It feels like home and I really just enjoy reading this translation. So the Bible that I have is the Life Application Study Bible in the New Living Translation and I just I just love this translation. When I was growing up, like before my 14th birthday, I was reading from the NIV version and I got pretty attached to some of the verses in that version, um, but you know, ever since then I have been reading this version and I just love it. So yeah, this is the version that I plan to be reading from. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments what translation you plan to read. If you want to read multiple at the same time and kind of compare, um, that'd be a great idea. But really my purpose for this is not necessarily to study it in terms of, I'm reading it to deepen my relationship with God. This is my time to spend time with Jesus. Um, and I just happen to be letting you guys know that John is the book that I want to read while I'm like pursuing a relationship with Jesus. So this isn't like a specific study. I'm not trying to like learn anything in particular. I'm just trying to spend time with Jesus. So that's my purpose in doing this. But if you feel like, oh, I really wanna study like the I am statements that Jesus makes about himself in John, or I really wanna study just John the Baptist, or I don't know, anything to do with what you could study in John, do that. Um, definitely do that. But for me, I'm just reading it like I would, like I'm just reading the Bible and I just want to be open to the Holy Spirit speaking to me and just learning more about Jesus in general. So that is my purpose in doing this. The way that I usually start is now that I know that I'm reading John, um, I always have my journal with me. I am a journaler. Um, I usually write my thoughts and prayers to him in a journal. So I have already started this journal. I am a couple, well, quite a bit of pages in already. Um, so here's some entries already. I guess maybe I just won't show you September, but like, so this is an example of what I would do. Um, so Wednesday, Octo August, <laughs> October, August 31st, I just wrote out a uh, Bible verse. So Psalm 86, 11, um, I just wrote that out and I like kind of used it to pray. So that's what I mean about like, it's a prayer journal because either I like pray my own prayers or I use a verse to pray. So this is like just an example. Um, the next entry is like a little personal, so I won't let you see that, but um, let me see. Today was Thursday, September 1st. Um, so I did write this this morning. So I'll quickly show you like everything else that I use. Look at this little guy. Isn't he cute? Um, he's got a little chipped nose, but he's still so cute. So this is my pen holder. So I keep this by my bed, and these are all my colored pens and highlighters and different things to use to journal. I don't actually use highlighters ever when I'm doing journaling. Well, sometimes, I guess. They're just in here, whatever. Um, but these are the pens I have been enjoying, the Bic Gelosity. But the thing is, some of them don't work very well. So I probably wouldn't buy them again, even though I love the colors. Like this one doesn't work, this one doesn't work, and this one doesn't work. Literally the best ones don't work, except this one is pretty great and it works, so I'm great. So that's good. Anyway, um, this is actually my favorite pen. It just writes so nicely. It's an old, like, like, you know the At The Office brand in Walmart? 
that's what this pen is and obviously I've used it a lot and it's still kicking so I'll take it and then this is the prized possession this is like a Bible highlighter thingy you know but like look how I can spin it and it goes up and down um, so this is what I do to highlight verses I bought this in my first year of university so I was 17 18 and I have had it since then and it is still kicking like it was all the way full so like you know it was like this but then all of this was also full so I don't know I've used it a lot and yet it's still going and I it's gonna go for even longer so my entire Bible is highlighted with just this because I really like the streamline I like just one color I don't know why so I have this but then also if I'm like I've a uh, if I've already highlighted a book a lot with this color, I have this. <laughs> it's a tiny little pink one. And so now my Bible has yellow and pink in it. And that's what I do. So I'm probably gonna like rotate between these two. Um, like chapter one of John is highlighted with yellow quite a bit. So if I ever want to highlight anything, I'll probably use the pink. Probably this whole time, honestly. But I do kind of like in my head think, okay, pink is for stuff that I like really love and that's really important. So I don't use it for like everything, you know? Anyway, okay. Need more water. So when I start my time, I always put the date in my journal. And then I usually write some kind of prayer like, Jesus, may my heart be open to you. Um, I pray that you would speak to me. Anything that's like kind of immediately on my mind that I want to say to God right away, I will write in my journal. And then I turn to whatever I'm reading. So here we go. I usually read just the sections. So you know how your Bible ha will have like headings for like chunks of verses? Um, in general, per day, I don't read more than one section. Although with, so if you don't know, I'm also going to be reading Second Chronicles and that's what my little bookmark is for. And when I'm reading Second Chronicles, I do read chapters at a time. So that's the difference there because I'm just trying to like, like get the story in my head. Whereas John is for me to like spend time with Jesus. So I don't need to read as much to spend time with him. Does that make sense? So that's why I like this could potentially take me a long time. Like, I don't even know if September is long enough for me to read the whole book, but I, I would like to try to do that. <laughs> so it'd be good to do a chapter a day, but I'm also not gonna like push myself to do that. So whatever we need to do, it's fine. setting so um, luckily I have my ring light but the lighting might be kind of funny um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that um, I actually read past chapter one I got to chapter 2 verse 12 I just kind of was like into it and I kept reading so that's great number one thing that stands out is kind of the iconic first five verses of John um, in the beginning was the word um, it's funny because I actually have memorized the NIV version of this. So NLT says, in the beginning the word already existed, the word was with God and the word was God. That's verse one. But I'm gonna look up um, NIV's version of this and see what it says. Okay, so they're very similar, but the NIV's verse one is, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. That's the verse that I have memorized. That's the one that I think of. See, I'm doing what I didn't expect I would, but like comparing two versions. Um, but in particular, John 1 verses 1 to 5 are just like kind of iconic for me. So I like to see different translations of those verses. So that's always interesting. And then a verse that I really love in chapter 1 is 
verse 14 but kind of like the last part of it but I'll just read the whole verse so it says um, so the word became human and made his home among us he was full of unfailing love and faithfulness and we have seen his glory the glory of the father's one and only son and the part that I've highlighted is he was full of unfailing love and faithfulness and we have seen his glory it's just like such a testimony and if you think about your own life you can definitely see how God's unfailing love has been in your life his faithfulness and then seeing his glory work in your life too. So I really love that. Okay, and then I found myself kind of getting sucked into the story of John the Baptist and kind of the first disciples that followed Jesus. And I started like thinking about The Chosen show. Um, if you guys, you pro most of you have probably heard of it, but there is um, a show being made about the life of Jesus and it's called The Chosen and it's a free app where you can watch all of the episodes for free. So I'll link everything down below for you to find that. Um, but I am noticing a lot of wording from John they have used in the show and it's really cool to see that connection. Nathaniel's story in The Chosen is so good, but it's like really exactly how the Bible shows it, um, how they do it in the show. So that's really cool. Like Jesus saying to Nathaniel, now here is a genuine son of Israel, a man of complete integrity. How do you know about me? Nathaniel asked. Jesus replied, I could see you under the fig tree before Philip found you. Then Nathaniel exclaimed, Rabbi, you are the son of God, the king of Israel. That happens in the show. And so it's just like cool to watch or to like read it in the Bible too. Like this is real. <laughs> um, so that was chapter one verses 46 to 48. Anyway, and then I read the um, miracle of Jesus turning the water to wine and then I stopped. So I actually ended up journaling just like about my day and kind of like more, more personal things that I'm like going through and thinking about. So I didn't actually write down any verses this time, but I'm sure I will as we keep going. So yeah, I just wanted this video to kind of be an introduction, a hello, a thank you for joining me and kind of just, yeah, a start for us to um, start sharing about what we're getting out of reading John. So if you want to share any of the verses that stood out to you that when you were reading, and I would love to hear how you plan to read it as well. If journaling is something that you like to do, if just reading and praying is what you do, if you listen to music while you do it. I actually usually do have music playing, but I use my phone to listen to music and I'm recording with my phone, so I didn't have music this time. Sometimes I do like to do it in silence, but I just find music really centers me. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Again, um, so I'm thinking, I don't know what I'm thinking. Right, I was gonna like add on to this. I think this needs to be like an intro video though. Oh, I think it does.